Hi and welcome to the long promised uh, blog series. A um, couple of non apologies for the start of this. Um, it's going to be a bit hurried. I've got about an eight hour window where I've got the time to do this and the office is quiet. Um, I will be making it as I go along, so it may well be that um, some of the initial assumptions will be changed at later stages, but let's uh, hope not too much. Um, and I'm going to just start with the initial data tables that I intend to be using um, for the start of this blog series. So I'll just uh, call up a diagram here of the um, tables. We've got five basic tables. A block ad blog admin, that's your users who will be either administrators or um, people authorised to comment. We've got the actual blog item itself. We're allowing blogs to be put into different categories. Obviously, people will need to make comments and then a simple configuration file. So quickly running through that, we have a user ID, which will be an integer primary auto in incremented, a username. I'll be using the email address there probably. Um, 60 characters I'm allowing. User password, char64, left fix at char, because it's going to be char256 encrypted, so we'll always have a 64 character um, password. And there's some sort of handler, user display name. Um, for them and then a user type because the user types will either be somebody's authorized to comment which will be the default C and I'll be blog admins which will be an auth, auth user um, will be A. Down to the items again each blog will have a unique ID it'll be an integer auto incremented and that will be the primary key for the blog item table each blog will have a title it will have content. I'm using text fields there, so they've got a pretty unlimited uh, amount of information they can put in. And if we want to, we can use Medium Editor to uh, allow the insertion of images as well. We need to know who wrote the blog. So we've got a blog user ID, which is a foreign key to our blog admin table up here. I also have a blog category. Each blog can be linked with a category. And again, that will be a foreign key to the primary key over here of the category ID. Just going to maintain a, a, a time and date for these things. Um, thought we'll add in a slug from the start. That's purely, uh, that will be linking into the um, routing later on when we add routing to this. And we have a, a blog can comment that was simply allows us to switch on or off comments on any particular blog individually. Default of one can comment one is true. Um, if we want to turn off comments, we're going to be setting that value to zero. Category table, blog category, fairly straightforward. We've got a, a category ID, which is an integer, auto incrementing, and it'll be our primary key, and then the category name as a varchar. I've given it 60 characters. Fairly straightforward, that. Obviously, no blog is complete without comments. So again, each comment will get a, a, a unique entry into the comments table. Um, again, the ID will be an integer, auto-incremented, and that will be our primary key. Then, of course, the comment text. We're allowing that the text field. We're to add on as we stick that down to fairly low levels. Um, and again, we could even consider allowing people to upload images where appropriate through Medium Editor. We need to who makes a comment. Um, that's obviously a foreign key to the user ID up here for people who are authorised to comment. Um, we can look at allowing a guest login as well um, if people choose to uh, allow that sort of thing. And last one, comment date. Obviously, we'll be timestamping them. Just going back to that, I, I tend to like a login for comments just to keep the trolls out, but it's not always appropriate in uh, every case. Then last of all, a, a simple configuration file. It's only ever going to be a single record, uh, I've, so I've just manually set that to a default of one and make it a primary key. And then we will just, just add fields in appropriately as required. At the moment, guest comments is switched off. That means that glo globally within the system, the, uh, the guests won't be allowed to comment. Change that to one to allow it. And can comment allows us globally to turn off um, comments right across all of the blogs. I'll upload these tables into the lessons, so the, the, they're there to download if you want. They'll be um, a zipped SQL 
um, structured files so you'll be able to upload them into sql server mysql server or whatever and it saves you creating them um, i'm going to start initially with the admin side so we'll be looking at creating the user and logging them in um, and then we'll go into the blogging side of things so uh, i'll see you in part two if you uh, care to join me